Matt Hall of Case and Online here with Kansas State basketball signing Luke Kazuki. Luke, we haven't seen you for a couple months since we're in St. Louis. Uh, of course, a lot going on. How are you doing these days, you, your family, with all that's going on? Yeah, really just doing what we can. Um, trying to do our part, stay inside, stay home. But um, it's been tricky, but um, I'm still getting my work in. Yeah. Body weight exercises in the garage, things like that. And I still have, I'm still finishing school, so still doing homework as well. But, yeah, yeah just doing what I can. How much communication are you able to have right now with K-State's coaches, you know, the players, fellow recruits, really just anybody involved with K-State's program? Yeah, uh, we actually have a lot of communication. We've been doing um, things like group FaceTime. Uh, the other night I was playing Warzone with hmm. uh, Nigel, Siri, and Davion. Right. Uh, we already have our group text, things like that. So, uh, at, yeah, a lot of communication, which is uh, very important with a lot of newcomers. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to start playing some highlights of you behind me. It might go green for a second and freak people out, but we'll see if it, we'll see if it does here. Um, there we go. And we're back. Okay. So this of course is the game that we were at to watch you play. I, I don't remember the top of my head, but I think you might've had 28 points. You hit five or six threes. I know maybe you just got kind of, you know, healthier at this point, but yeah. I, I want to ask about you specifically as a player, what do you think is your biggest strength right now? And how can you leverage that to maybe help K-State as soon as next year? Yeah, I would say shooting is my biggest strength. Um, I know that's really valuable in college. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to build off of that, uh, just become a better shooter. So, yeah. On the flip side, if you had to pick out one thing, what do you think you had to improve upon the most? And, and how can you do that? You talked earlier about, you know, trying to be creative and find solutions to work out at home. But what do you need to work on and how are you doing that right now? Uh, the biggest thing for me is just putting on weight, getting stronger. So uh, recently I've been eating a lot better. Um, and then it's l limited things right now, like I said, but um, I've been doing some body weight exercises and right. things like that just to build strength. I don't know if you've checked lately, but like what is your height and weight right now or your most accurate guess of them? I, didn't, I know I didn't tell you I was going to ask you that, but what are you checking in at yeah. right now? Uh, I'm about 6'5", 180 right now. Keeping on you as a player, what's a trait or a skill you have that maybe maybe you think is underrated? Something that me or a, a rivals talent evaluators don't talk a lot about, but you think maybe you're better at than you get credit for? I think defense. Um, a lot of people don't see it, but this summer um, I pride myself a lot on that because I want to always shoot it great, but in order to stay on the court, I had to do something right. to um, bring my team value. So uh, my defense improved a lot. I was guarding um, either the first or second player a lot on the EYBL circuit. Um, so I take a lot of pride in that, and I think um, that's really underrated. You know, moving on, I'd like to ask you, of course, about your relationship with Davion Bradford, um, a guy from the same, you know, area, St. Louis as you, who we saw around the same time as you. How long have you known him? What kind of player is he? If you don't mind, just talk me through your relationship with Davion Bradford some. Yeah, I'm really close with him. That's, like, one of my best friends. Um, I've been playing with him since sixth or seventh grade. Um, he could barely run down the court then, so he's came a really long way. Uh, and it was kind of weird how um, it all came together to play in college. We never really talked about it a whole lot, but K-State was recruit recruiting me hard, and then um, they started recruiting him hard too. And then I, I had my visit set up. And then he was working on setting up a visit at the same time. Right. Um, he asked me what day I was going. And he was like, yeah, I want to take the visit with you. And then ever since then, it was kind of like, yeah, we want to play together. Like, that would be pretty cool. So, you know, you two are a huge part of what's become a huge recruiting class. You know, depending on the day of the ranking, a top 15 national class at one point by rivals. Now you've got, depending on how you count, KC Iziagu, the mid, you know, the mid-semester transfer, as many as eight or nine new guys. Uh, this was going to be a big class anyway, but now how much, I don't want to say the word pressure, but how much um, responsibility do you guys feel um, with this program with such a big group coming in to reload and rebuild this team? Yeah, we have a lot of potential, um, but I think that's kind of a dangerous word because you still have to live up to it. We still have right. to put in a lot of work. So um, I'm excited, but like I said, we still have a lot of work to put in in order to um, live up to that and do what we want to do. You obviously are somebody who knows you're going to have to work, you know, for anything you get next year. But, you know, do you look at uh, the lack of returning names on the roster and see 
more opportunities perhaps for you or some of your peers in this class to play early? Yeah, for sure. I think um, everybody's going to have to come in and prove themselves. Um, so for me, I'm just going to have to come in, work. And like I said, every, like we're still going to have to put in work to do what we want to do. So, yeah. I know, obviously, we're at a place where we're in, we're in lockdown and it's hard to look ahead to basketball in a season. Yeah. But do you already have, like, specific goals for what you want to accomplish or what you want K-State to? And if not, what are some things that off the top of your head you think you may care about or start looking at when it comes to be that time? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for all of us is we want to win. Uh, we talked about it in those group chats, like I said earlier. But everybody, all this group just wants to win. Um, when I took my – I think it was either my first or second. I took two unofficial visits. Right. I was actually at that game um, the when they won the Big 12. Right. So seeing that, like, that's I was kind of like, yeah, I want to do this. Like, that, that feeling of winning never gets old. Of course. And then this last one I'm going to ask you is always the toughest. And if you need some time, man, I can, I can kill some time. But fans yeah. would probably love to know something about you maybe outside of basketball. So whether it's something you're proud of, your family's proud of, anything unique, just anything you don't mind sharing perhaps with some of the K-State fans watching this. Yeah, uh, I'm a sneakerhead. Huh. Uh, I, so I've I seen your, of, your, your Jordans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a ton of shoes. So that's probably one of my hobbies away from basketball. Do you have one that you're especially proud of that comes to mind first when I ask that question? Uh, I would probably say basketball. I mean, the shoes. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. I, was, I saw you. I think you you didn't play in them, right? But you were wearing – I don't remember the numbers. Are the ones that Jordan wore in, like, the late 90s? Yeah. The red the 11? instead of the white. The 11s? I think they're the 11s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah those were nice. I, I played in some uh, – yeah, I played in some threes towards the end of the year, too. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with them. Well, uh, Luke Kasup, give a Rivals 150 member, Kansas State signee. Uh, part of that St. Louis pipeline. Um, Luke, I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy guy. Like you said, you still have school. We had to do that around that. So uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I know the fans will too. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me.